Hi, this is Varu. Uh, I'm the solution architect in Asman Software Solutions. We've been working with uh, uh, Isri Technologies for the last four years. We are very fortunate that we, we were able to build a lot of interesting applications using ArcGIS technology. I would like to share a few projects that we have uh, uh, done for the Andhra Pradesh and Telangana government using the ArcGIS technologies. One of them is the electoral data analysis and management which we have developed for uh, the Chief Election Commission of Hyderabad, which actually manages both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana states. So, in this particular project, we have developed three applications. One application is for the normal voters who will actually use the mobile app to identify their polling station location and also they can actually find the step-by-step -step route to reach their polling stations on the polling day. And another application is uh, a web-based application for the voters where they, they can find out where their polling booths are located and also the polling booth officer's details like and also the location of the polling booth, their, uh, its building name, etc. By using this information, they can actually talk to the polling booth level officer and ask whether they can, what is the state of the polling going on at that particular uh, polling station and the most important application in this project is for the officers the district level officers can actually use our uh, GAS based application and they can uh, take effective decisions right by using the analytics and reports provided by the GAS one of the features that they can do is basically to understand the sensitivity of the polling booths if they see, uh, by using our application, they can identify if there is any sudden spike in the polling uh, uh, voter registration and if there is a major difference between the gender ratio. Right. The, by, by using uh, these kind of parameters, actually, our application provides them with these sensitive areas and by looking at those sensitive areas, they can take a corrective actions by, by actually deploying more pers uh, p uh, police personnel and uh, uh, deploying the high experienced officers. And also we have built uh, uh, a feature where the application actually can find out the, what is the most optimal location for a polling booth. So by, by following few business rules like two polling booths should not be more than two kilometers apart. And also basically they, they should, uh, the polling booth should have a very e easy access to the road and also the the polling, the availability of the government building in that particular optimal location, actually our application suggests the election commission the, the most optimal polling uh, booth that can be placed in a specific location. So that is another feature that we have developed for the election commission. This application was used in uh, the general elections of May 2014. They have used it very effectively, both uh, the user's point of view, the voter registered for our they have downloaded our application, mobile application, and they have used, they have identified uh, the polling uh, locations and routes. And also similarly, the uh, officers also have used these applications for the better management of the elections. And also, even currently also, they are using uh, uh, the GIS application for, for either by polls or the municipality levels of polls. So this, this application is a very uh, generic application which can be used in any elections. The data for different elections, uh, elections will be different. So the, the data is provided uh, uh, by uh, different sources. Uh, uh, like uh, we will get uh, data from uh, the election commission itself, we'll get the data from Survey of India and, and also we'll get the data from the NIC. By consolidating the, all the information from all these sources, we will actually update our uh, application database and will provide the uh, uh, information that is relevant for that specific elections. We will uh, update the data and we, we, we will be continuously working with the election commission to make it relevant for uh, every different election. ESRI conference uh, is actually uh, brings different people with uh, different experiences. Right, together and we can share our thoughts and our experiences and our learnings from our projects so that uh, the, the learning curve for the other guys will be minimized in different scenarios. For example, we have experience in handling government projects like elections and also we have done uh, some application for the health, uh, health department also. So by sharing our expertise and uh, our experience in uh, these kind of a projects, right? 
we can suggest the other uh, 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 fellow developers who wants to do this for their state uh, 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 commissions or with their state government, it would be easy for them because we have already walked that path. It's a kind of a shared expertise that I would say, like with this kind of uh, user conferences, I can see the people with a similar kind of uh, interest coming together and sharing their knowledge for the better use.